Okay. So let's talk about the cooling the plunger tip. The plunger tips were originally made of steel. Many steel tips are still used. We are using cast iron plunger tip. We are using copper beryllium plunger tip. We are using mixed steel and copper beryllium tip. So primarily for the their durability and the economy. So more most economical uh, plunger tip we are using make of cast iron. A steel tip of cast goes at the same coefficient of thermal expansion as the soft lead. In which it slide. If we use the plunger tip with the uh, steel acetate made, so it's the same thermal uh, coefficient as the we have in shock steel. Since the plunger tip is exposed to more heat than the steel, the expansion of the steel tip is difficult to control. Very precious heat. The next step in development of the conventional plunger tip was to make it of beryllium. Copper, which has a coefficient of thermal expansion more than 50 percent, greater than the that of uh, steel. This made the expansion of the tip much easier to control. It was the possible maintain the dimension stability of the tin tip throughout the length of the stone. In a large machine, if the plunger tip is not adequately cooled. The gap between the plunger and the soft leaf can easily disappear. So the die caster usually reduce the temperature of their plunger tip with water. The most common cause of excessive plunger tip expansion and wear is insufficient cooling. Even experienced die caster sometimes neglect this. Rate of flow is easily determined and should be monitored constantly. Maintaining the adequate flow of water is vital to the cooling the plunger tip expansion. We all are using water for cooling the plunger tip. We give the input, we give the inlet to the plunger rod to to cool down the plunger tip surface. But even we we know that the flow rate of the water coolant is most important to cool down the plunger tip. Even that we 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 know all about the importance of the flow rate of uh, water. We don't use and we don't measure, we don't monitor the flow rate at the stage of output. Outflow coolant flow we are not measuring. We we don't have practicing this uh, good practice. In our shop floor, to make sure our plunger tip cooling in a very proper way, it is a very important. Thing. This is the only way we can show the we we can make the plunger tip cool down. 